you all right there ladies and gents how's it going i'm out on a happy hippo we're off to get ourselves some lunch i've got big pezzer in front of me on his vfr 750 and i've got uh, the chronicles of mr fish behind me on his africa twin it's a beautiful day really beautiful day and uh yeah we're off to um a little cafe down on the 281 uh I should remember what it's called because I suggested it, but I can't remember. Because I'm stupid! <laughs> Keep that Drop a down. Yeah, once we've had our lunch, had our fill of food, we're going to uh, have a little ride around the twiddly bits. Um, so, uh, yeah, it should be quite nice. It's uh, really nice carrying on riding through this time of year because you get days like this and it's just absolutely stunning and the V85 is just a, a great little bike to ride through this time of year it's, uh, it's nice I don't know what it is about it but it's nice I think we're going to scoot over Devil's Dyke afterwards not sure and maybe find somewhere else to grab a coffee a little bit later just to warm up because it is chilly it's just not not biking weather <laughs> Um, yeah, as you can see, sun shining, brilliant, perfect, lovely. The guys were going to come down on their uh, the Honda Cubs, but uh, I don't know. I think I maybe persuaded them to get the big bikes out with me using this one. I would have been absolutely fine pooling along at 40 mile an hour with them on those, um, but uh, I'm quite glad that I'm not having to. <laughs> All right, we are here. This is the cafe. Um, the chalet, that's it. I knew I knew what it was called. Um, it's very good, nice grease and spoon, and quite popular with the old bikers. Certainly popular with my belly. <laughs> What's that? Got these bikes, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Don't. I, I was tempted to put mine on, but I thought, no, I'm going to make the most of this s nine degrees of loveliness. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely getting old man. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, I think so. They do good stuff, they do. They do um heated Vest, gloves, Have you got the socks? Awesome. I think they do socks as well. <laughs> Still, win win. <laughs> yeah, dindins. Nice. Well, that was a good scran. Definitely filled a hole. Oh, wait, let's go play. Okay, well, the battery went flat on the way up here, um, but we just uh, had a nice little natter and uh, watched these crazy people messing around on their little sails. How very awesome. I'd love to have a go at it. Some of them have been struggling to land. It's a bit blowy. <laughs> Are you going to make it down there before we have to go? Hey. I think it's because I couldn't get on my bike. Oh, 
Well, that was very nice. I'm sorry I lost the camera on the way here because uh, there's some stunning views. We went through some lovely little villages and as you come over this hill here you get the, the view of the coast over there. It's just incredible. Um, but you get it now on the way back instead. <laughs> I really love riding around up here, it is very beautiful, so scenic and it's nice doing it with some good company too. What's not to love about country roads and views for miles? I don't know what my audio is going to be like because it's just so windy. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Don't care, it's just lovely riding. It's definitely winter gear and heated grips time. I've said on another video, I don't know whether I'm actually going to post that one or not, uh, but I've said on another video that uh, the, uh, the muffs are going to be coming out soon for the bike. They look rubbish. Well, they do a fantastic job of keeping your hands toasty warm. You can wear summer gloves all year round pretty much with them combined with the heated grips. Awesome stuff. a bit of a draft done my neck need to stop wearing one of those uh, neck buffs or whatever they're called it was so lucky where I live to have so many lovely places to ride pretty much just around the corner had an oil pressure warning light come up on this uh, last ride and it's gone now but it was a bit worrying there's nothing wrong with it I think uh, the sensor just set itself off for some reason but when I changed the clocks today to go back an hour now we're into November um, yeah it seemed to reset it all and, and the warning's gone so hopefully all's good now but it's absolutely brutal to get out with uh, Fish and Pez. Uh, Pez wasn't able to come out on our last dirty biking thing because he was up in Scotland camping the crazy fool. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll get some trail riding done again soon, get out on some green lanes. Pez has sold his CRF 250 now, uh, but he's still got his BMW which he, he all green lane. And uh, yeah, you got Phil 480 who bought Pez is 250 so um, yeah we could be able to get quite a good crowd of us out to play which should be nice. I really love the dirt bike in this time of year it's don't get me wrong in the summer when it's dry it's easier and it means you can kind of uh, play more because you've got more grip and all that sort of stuff but can't be a bit of sloshy mud can't be a bit of sloshy mud indeed <laughs> I keep seeing the new uh, Moto Guzzi V100 and it's really grown on me. Uh, I didn't really rate it much when it first was announced. I didn't like the styling and I just thought some of it was a bit silly. But the more I read about it, the more I see about it, uh, I'm getting quite fond of it. I like the looks of it now um, and I, I like the idea of the engine. I think it was inevitable that they went with a, a liquid cooled it's just the only way you can do emissions these days isn't it um, but yes it's a quite an exciting motorcycle I don't know what horsepower it's going to actually have but the press have been sort of saying between 120 and 130 horsepower so I'd have thought probably more likely 120 um, I don't think it's going to be hugely light but it does seem like it's going to be quite a machine um, with interesting uh, take on aero um, with it as well not like all the wings like the super bikes kind of have at the moment but um, sort of more touring aero to give you better wind deflection which uh, 
pop out from the sides of the petrol tank which I don't know um, it might be a gimmick it might be something that works quite well it's certainly interesting to try that's for sure and uh, from what I saw it's got an electric screen too so that's that's good as well it means that while you're on the fly you can adjust it up and down I assume meaning that if you're wanting to get head down for a little bit you can put it into its sports mode and if it stops raining or you just want to cruise along and have a bit of wind protection you can raise it up how very modern <laughs> yeah BMW would be doing it forever <laughs> but yeah um, it's nice that they've uh, put some of these more modern things onto the, the bike and uh, I'm going a bit out there with with like the aero stuff um, yeah be very interested to have a demo on that as soon as it's possible uh, but it's not really properly released yet I mean I guess it will be at the ICMA, ICMA show I did look into going to that uh, but with all the red tape of getting into Europe at the moment with the Covid uh, I was just like no I can't, can't be doing with it this year um, well, I am going up to Motorcycle Live up at the NEC in December but that will be a bit rubbish, there's no Piaggio there so therefore there'll be no Moda Guzzi or Aprilia um, which is a real shame also Yamaha aren't going to be there either so this is the UK's okay. national motorcycle show I mean it's the big event and Yamaha aren't even going I think that's crazy, really crazy especially when they've got a new bike out I mean I know it's quite close to the Eichmann show um, so maybe the logistics are just a little bit difficult for them to do but I just, it's almost as if they just don't care maybe the UK is, is too difficult for them to get to I had hoped to have had a few demos on different bikes this year uh, the uh, V7850, the new version of this and the Aprilia RS 660 but it, the timings and stuff didn't really work out for that to be possible for me uh, when I was free the bikes weren't and when the bikes were free I wasn't but also uh, I, I don't really like to borrow bikes unless I have a kind of interest in, in buying them myself and I've got no interest in uh, swapping my V7 for the new 850 version of it because my one's my one and the new version of this isn't enough of a change for that one to be enticing me to swap this bike out um, and with the upcoming V100 I'd, I'd rather save my Moto Guzzi test riding for that because I think that's going to be quite special because it's stepping away from air cooled, going water cooling hopefully a decent spread of power and nice torque it should be an awesome engine I really hope it is a peach as much of a peach as I'm imagining it's going to be I do admit though it would be nice to see how the new 850 V7 compares to my one maybe when I put this in for a service or something like that I'll, I'll get one as a, a test ride so who knows, who knows right well thank you for joining me um, yeah it's been nice to have you tag along for a little bit it's been an awesome little ride chilly but lovely beautiful blue skies and awesome to see those paragliders too yeah lots of fun uh, and it's been brilliant to get out with fish and pears like I said earlier alrighty well if you haven't done so already do check out Mr Fish's channel and Big Pezzers I'll put links to them at the end of this video and down in the description below um, so yeah do check them out they're really awesome people and uh, again if you haven't done so already do click subscribe to mine it'd be brilliant to have you come back for some more but in the meantime if you like this video why not give it a little thumbs up and if you didn't you can always give it a little thumbs down I don't mind at all it's all cool in the school but whatever you do please do drop in a comment I do love hearing from you any households are you ride safe take care and I shall catch you all in the next one uh, bye bye for now Keep the Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down. <laughs>